Hello everybody, this is Frank Day, Frank Day Models. I like to make apology on the video that was made a while ago. It went just like that. I don't know what happened, fellas. I don't have a clue, but I'm going to start it over again. Okay, the topic of this video is update build report on my new uh, spring build, Trumpeter 148 scale C48 transport. VIP staff plane. Okay. Uh... This is the color pool I have to give you with the kit. This ain't nothing but a plain old DC-3. Oh, this is a DC-3. That's President of the Army Air Corps. as a transport plane for the uh, for the staff. A VIP plane for most important people. Generals, anything. Well, when it comes to normal transport work, the aircraft with, during the Second World War got declared and started. Is redesignated the C 47 Skytrain. A lot of these DC 3 models went back to Douglas Aircraft Company for modification of the, of the cargo doors. And a lot of them were being built with cargo doors on there because they knew more was evident. So they changed the whole design. All this is the, the DC 3 that was pressed into service before the war got started. Okay, getting back to the DC 3. I guess the sub is going on here. I've got the rudder. It's all completed. Buffed out too after I glued them together. Stabilizer. Now the stabilizer is deposable. They, they can go up, they go down, or up, or down. Whatever you chose. Same thing with the rudder. Here's the interior. I don't know how accurate Trumper is, but I hear a lot of Trumper has a lot of inaccuracies in their paint sketches. Well, this seems pretty much, I did a lot of research on the old DC-3. This is the interior that you're going to get was all completed. I painted the seats blue. It's all sky. Sky color. With a coat of wash on it to bring up the details. I used some film for the control instrument panel. The camera don't pick it up too good, as you can see. But it's there. I don't like the film they give you. It's too dark. The instructions call for black instrument panel with rear black. And you got a piece of film that fits right behind it. If you look very carefully inside the dials over there, you can see the uh, dials on there, but you got to have a close eye. And plus, it's not going to be seen anyway once the fuselage is all buttoned up. So that's the, the cockpit here they give you. Now, you can really go out and say if you wish. It depends on the model, you know. I just put it together like the way I want to put it. That's about it. Everything else is history. Okay. Next step is the fuselage. Now, I got the transparencies there, as you can see. What I did at first for, for putting those windows in there, I went ahead and painted that aluminum right here. As you can see, the brilliance of the aluminum across here, even on the cow. The reason why I did that, no masking on the windows. All you gotta do is put a piece of paper over it to block the overspray when you start painting the top of it. It'd be controlled the overspray. Because most importantly, it's all been completely uh, painted before time. That way it saves you a lot of masking, fellas. I'm very, uh, very happy. I think we all have the same problem. The individual windows they, they give you, you pop in here. When you put a liquid mask on there or even regular camellia masking tape, it don't matter what kind of masking tape you use. Sometimes we pick a tape off, pull off, and punch out the window. <sighs> then your wall of hurt. This way, it's all done for you. All you can do is paint the outsides. Go ahead and put your windows in there. Once this other thing's all smooth up here, you can put a, a piece of a. Uh, you can take a. I'm never prepared for nothing like I need to show you guys something. Yeah. When you're painting it, you go like this. They can paint up there like that. Just cover all the windows like that and paint it because it's already painted here already. And vice versa, the bottom side too. It saves masking, fellas. That's, a good, that's an idea that I, I picked up on years ago. I did it one time. That's, that's a lot of work, Frank. Masking all the windows like that. Although it looks professional, but you can save that in more than half the time. I think it was old DC-7 I was working on. 
painted the outside, like I showed you right here, painted outside, that that tucked your windows in. We'll finish up the painting, you're all done. Okay, I'm gonna work on the wings tonight. Maybe later on, but I'm gonna finish up my SD2C Hell Diver. This is the Affinity MPH 132nd scale SB2C 4 Hell Diver. I got it all painted except I need to see blue on top of that. That's next. And once that's done, just put everything together again, and voila, she's done. I got a massive cockpit to paint those and put those in there. Got the other side mass right there where the wings at, where the wing fold goes at. Make sure they're good and crisp because they're a wing fold there. I got dive brakes all painted red inside there. With the tapes out here, I got the slats painted red across there too. So it's time for the slats to get all painted. When they're all painted, just pull off the masking tape off here and set the slats in. Voila. No fuss, no muss. I'm going to finish this up tonight. Tomorrow we'll have a final reveal. It's raining out here off and on all day today. I was hoping to have a sunny day today. I can be able to get this thing done quickly and get some pictures, but I say screw it. Time right now is 3.30 and the skies are full of gray and full of water. I ain't going to go nowhere but stay here. So I have the final reveal for that tomorrow. That'll be done. Then I'm going to work on my sky train. I should have the sky train ready to paint this weekend. But by hopefully by a week from today, the final reveal for this will be shown. Yeah, I got a lot of models, guys, coming your way, fellas, so stay patient for those. I got back from the VA, check on my brother. He's, he's in the VA now. I had him transferred all the way from Mountain Valley Hospital to the VA where he belongs. They let him sit in that bed for 15 days. They do nothing to him, just keep him stable. So I got him to the VA, and they're on him like fly on high. They got him a room and everything, and got him all hooked up. And he was diagnosed with lymphonia, which is lymph, lymph node cancer. And he has a, a mass on his colon. They haven't gotten in there yet to find out how bad it is or what it is going to be or what's going to happen. But now they're, they're treating the cancer right now with chemotherapy. He had it about 30 years ago, guys. You know, he was working at the plant. Breathing that red oxide dust every day does, does, does horrible harm to the human body. He came down with it. His neck was all bowed. It looked like a big bullfrog with a big old air sac hanging out. It looked like a gorder. I was, uh, when I was, uh, I was living in Tennessee at the time. And my, uh, got a, got a, got a QT from my mother and father. Quick time. Get down here. Your brother's in bad shape. So he pulled through it with chemotherapy. He came out real good. I guess I laid down about 30 years or so. Hopefully this time he can probably last maybe a couple more years. Maybe I hope not. You know, I'm going to lose my brother. I mean, I got, uh, no one, nobody wants to lose nobody who they love in their family, especially family members. That's all you have. Like my dad said one time, when I was a little boy growing up. He, he, we got family. Take care of your family and everything. Without family, you ain't got nothing. And uh, there's other families out there too. You guys are my family now. My mom, and dad, they're they're playing a they're playing a French harp in heaven somewhere. And uh, I don't want my brother to join there that quick, but I know he's in the past one of these days, times. But he's gonna. And so am I. I want to go where I want to go. You know, I want to go up. I want to be in heaven and be with my family and everybody. People who I love and miss. Well, that's a long time for me because I'm pretty healthy now. I'm glad, I'm glad I got my blood pressure pills. All in order, I've been cuffing myself about two or three times a day, check my blood pressure. And it's good shape. I feel a lot better now. And I'll never array for my medication again. Okay. I hope this video comes out for a long time. I don't know what happened to the other one. I was wondering why it had to come and upload so fast. It was about six minutes. 
Go, huh? Usually takes about a good 15 minutes or so for it to, 20 minutes for it to load up. Hopefully this video will be normal. I'll have to check it before I publish it. So anyway, anybody seen this video before? I'm very truly sorry. But I, I looked at it a while ago and whew, it zipped right through like a, like a Ziploc bag. Okay. So stay posted tomorrow for the final reveal of the SP2C Helldiver. Make mom happy. Take care of the little kids out there, your babies. Take care of yourselves. Spend wisely. Stay focused when you drive. Beware of the surroundings. Get yourself a kit. Pull them out of the closet. Whatever you got to do to work on them. Enjoy yourselves, guys. And please say your prayers. And again and again and again, I can't express or stress anymore from my heart. Thank you very much for your wonderful candor and your views and comments on my last couple of videos I've had. Every video I make, I'm on it you. And uh, just another bump of road, you know. Once you get over that bump of road, you just, you're, you're fine sailing until the next bump pops up. I hope it don't pop up too soon. <laughs> Man like me should live a thousand years, but I don't know. I guess human beings don't probably have lived that long. We'll be the same if you did. Okay. I'm out of here. Is it for the C-48 Skytrain? SP-2C Helldiver in May. So stay posted tomorrow for tomorrow's final reveal for the Helldiver. We'll have that scrubbed out. And we've got the, uh, the the Lancaster coming over. Like a temporary build along with my, my new HK-148 scale Lancaster. So I'll be bouncing that pretty soon too. So I ain't got too much to do on that uh, Lancaster. All I got to do is put the turrets on there. And, uh, and I found the pilots to it. They're just in another box. So I got all everything together to lose nothing. So it's all together. Lancaster, all I got to do is pop those turrets on there, paint the pilot up, pop them in there, and uh, put the uh, top turret on there and the bomb bit and the bombs ordinance. She's finished. So I have a final reveal of that this week. I'll come your way too, guys. Okay. For the second time, is it for me? For the C-48? Is it for the SP-2C Helldiver? And uh, so stay posted for the final reveal. And thank you very much, guys, for your wonderful comments and candor. I'm very deeply honored. It makes me feel good inside. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've got to tell you on the C-48. I got... The, the uh the windows inside you can see the windows they got them installed it's all painted and masked off ready for you all you need is paint the rest of the ship done okay i'm gone guys i'll see you guys tomorrow god bless you all thank you very much and stay healthy and say your prayers and uh, i love you guys very much and thank you god bless you all and i'm honored and my brother sends you his love too and everything thank you everybody i love you guys See you next video.